the before, the after. Keep watching to see how. Hi friends, it's Katie, professional makeup artist and founder of Beauty and Beauty.com. If you're watching this and you're over the age of 40, keep watching. I'm really excited to share with you the products that I've handpicked to showcase in this video and also that are available on Beauty and the Beauty.com. Now, as I head towards 50, I'm just a few years away from that. Personally, I'm, I'm looking for products that not only make me feel special, but you know, they just give me a little bit of a confidence boost. So stay tuned because the first product is gonna give you an instant eye lift. This first product I'm gonna share with you creates an instant brow lift not just to this part of our brow, but to our brow bone as well. It's genius, it's dual ended. Now it comes in just one shade, which makes it universal for pretty much all brow colors. I'm gonna show you exactly how to use this pencil to lift your brow. By lifting my art up, I'm gonna create the effect of an eye lift. Watch this. So my arch is here. Now, if you're not sure where your arch is, you're gonna hold the pencil at the corner of your nose and have the pencil go diagonally through the middle of your pupil. So my arch should be there, which is correct. So I'm just gonna put a little dot there where my arch should be. And now what I'm going to do is, again, I've got my pinky finger as a stabilizer and I'm going to actually draw little hairs over where my arch is because by lifting my arch up, I'm gonna create the effect of an eye lift. Watch this. I'm taking the pencil and I'm using my pinky finger as a stabilizer to really steady that pencil. Great if you're a makeup novice, do this, it makes it so easy. And then you're just gonna go above the brow line just by a millimeter start drawing that arch, making it a little bit higher than what it already is, and then tapering that colour down into the tail of my brow. I'm not making the brow thicker unless you want to. And then I'm just going to, with the pencil, mimic the hair growth into the brow hair at the start of my brow, just to blend in where I've taken the arch higher. So I've actually gone over my actual brow hair. So I'm hoping on camera you can see just how much of a lift that brow pencil has given to my brows in a really, really natural way compared to this brow that I haven't worked on. Now this next little tip with this pencil is a complete game changer. I'm now gonna take the creamy end, I'm gonna warm it up on my hand, and then I'm going to just use the pencil very softly under the arch of my brow and what this is going to do it's going to add a matte creamy highlighted shade which in turn is going to just frame my brow and lift my eyes just going to pat it in now look at the difference of this brow that to me is just an instant little eye lift This next product I'm gonna share with you, let me get it. This here, wait till you see this on the face. It looks incredible. It doesn't look exciting here, but it's on the face. You're gonna be obsessed with it. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use this bronzing shade here. And this shade, it's beautiful because it, it adds warmth to the complexion, but it also sculpts the complexion. And you'll see that once I put this pinky peachy shade on top, this has like a sheen to it that just makes your bone structure look incredible. I'm gonna dab in to this bronzing color here. Now this isn't a contour color, it's a bronzing color, but I'm gonna show you how you can use bronzer to sculpt your features. So I always tap off the excess onto the back of my hand because I like to build up product as opposed to put too much on to start with. So I'm gonna start off with this side of my face first so you can see the difference this product makes. So firstly, I'm gonna smile, I'm gonna take the brush and I'm going to go from 
kind of the middle of, middle of my um, iris, down here. Not gonna take the brush too low. I'm just gonna push that product up. Can you see? I'm pushing that product up. Now, what I love about this bronze is that it has a sheen to it. It's kind of a matte velvet diffused look, but it has a sheen. Tip of my chin, down under my chin here. With the leftover that's on my brush, I'm just gonna go down the bridge of my nose. If you have short hair or you're wearing your hair up, this tip is really cool because it just makes your bronzer look super natural. So you're gonna do the tips of your ears. And if you have your hair up, just remember to just dust a little bit of bronzer on the back of your neck. And if you have a low-ish cut top, a little bit on your delicatage. And that's just gonna merge it all together so it all looks beautifully natural. Look at the glow that this has created. And I haven't even shown you the best bit yet. This next tip using the same bronzing shade is gonna give an eye lift. So I've got a different brush this time. This one is a crease brush. If you didn't have a brush similar to this, you could potentially use your ring finger just to pat in and then blend with your pinky finger. I wanna make it accessible. You don't have to use brushes. So I'm gonna load up my brush and then I'm gonna tap off for excess. So I, I place the color in the center of the socket so I can blend it backwards and forwards evenly. Now, when you're blending and you're going backwards and forwards like a little wimpy screen wiper, you'll notice that I don't take the colour past the corner of my eye here because if I take the colour past here, it's going to make my eyes turn downwards. Now, if you have quite a hood to your eye, then you want the colour to go slightly more over the hood, but you don't want the colour to go on the top of your brow bone. And you can add more colour to add more lift. But we want to keep this part of our eye, the eyelid, free of colour. If you're someone that usually wears eyeliner underneath their eye or just likes their eyes to look slightly more kind of soft and sexy, then this tip is really great for just framing the eye without the use of eyeliner. I'm going to use an angled this is the angled detailer brush from the set. I'm gonna put this in here. If you didn't have this um, brush set, you could use a Q-tip. I'm gonna dab off the back of my hand. And then I'm going to, again, my pinky finger is my stabilizer. I'm just gonna stamp that color along the, just underneath my, my lash roots here. That was so easy to do, just using that bronzer. It's just giving a subtle kind of sexy hue to the eye. Now, I'm gonna show you how to use this, the pinky shade, I love this. So I'm going to put, uh, load up my color onto the brush, and then this time, I'm going to swirl it on the back of my hand. I don't want to apply too much to my cheek, just a touch. And this time, I'm just gonna swoosh on the color up, starting from my up of my cheek up towards the kind of hairline here. Now look how that has sculpted my bone structure. If people are going to ask you what, what you've done differently and it's as simple as this incredible palette. Stay tuned because I've got the most incredible lip look to share with you. A neutral look that you could wear every day but it makes your lips look insane. It really makes them look fuller and just more juicy. I can't wait to share with you. Stay tuned. This nude lip wardrobe. If you've ever struggled to find the perfect nude lip, oh my gosh, this is the answer to your dreams. This has a lip liner, a lipstick, and a lip gloss. We're firstly going to line our lips. Take the lip liner, we're gonna use our pinky finger. This is our stabilizer. We're gonna start from the corner of the lip here, and we're gonna to move to the cupid's bow here. I'm not going over the lip line, I'm just following the lip line. Just by defining my lip shape, it makes my lips look fuller. And then when I do my lower lip line, Using my pinky finger again, I'm going to start in the middle. Feathery strokes. Sometimes it can be a bit intimidating applying lip line because you're like, oh, I'm going to get a shaky hand. But if you just use your stabilizer, your pinky finger, do little feathery strokes, you can't go wrong. Okay, next I'm going to take the lipstick. 
Now this lipstick shade just looks so beautiful with the lip liner. It's just like your lips only better. And you could just wear the lipstick and the lip liner, but what I think really just sets us apart is when you apply this stunning lip gloss over the top. And if you're someone that doesn't like the feel of lip gloss, this isn't sticky, but if you don't like the feel of lip gloss, then do you know what? Just by applying this in the center of your lips, you're gonna get the look of gloss, but without the whole feel of gloss. I love the feel of this. It feels just like balmy. If you're someone that just doesn't like gloss, just by applying this in the middle, it gives you the look of fullness, but without the whole lips looking glossy. Now, I love this, so I'm gonna go all over. Now, tell me if this isn't the most prettiest nude lip look you've ever seen. one last thing because throughout this video I've had a little bonbon here sat on my lap <laughs> keeping me company thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it and I hope there's lots more that you find on beautythebeauty.com that will benefit you whether it's a tip or a product but I can't wait to see you there bye does life get any better than this oh mommy I'm bored don't teach your makeup anymore. Come and play with me. Oh.